Good morning, GeoVoxers. Rampa here. Today's tutorial is going to be on creating very large land masses with the new brush features, being that they can expand to a great large size and that we have smoothing options for um, each type. Now, I like to use the um, quite a bit of smoothing usually to get stuff to blend in, although when you're creating really large land masses, you'll only, you won't get a really softened thing. You'll kind of get a large land mass and sort of blend it into the area. I will show you what I mean in a moment here. I'm going to use the smoothing at 10 and I'm going to use a relatively large brush. Um, it, the brushes do slow down. Once you get above 10, you'll notice they really start to kind of slow down. Um, but the smoothing will compound that even more. So I'm going to go with kind of a medium big one here. We're not going to go with an extremely big one. And I'm going to make it a square so it has kind of edges on it. And we'll see what we get here. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in. And it's going to take a while. You'll see it takes a while with the size up and the smoothing up. Okay, so there we go. Now we, we have our um, large block in there. So that's not extremely large, but you can see it's about as big as a tree. So that's kind of big. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, of course, we can use our other tools. We can use our dig tool. Um, I don't have any smoothing on the dig tool right now. So if I just dig, it cuts uh, reasonably sharp holes in there. But what I really want to show you this time is that if we use the smoothing, let me use that on the dig tool, and then we dig, you can see it, it goes out from the brush and affects a much larger area when I do that. So you can kind of melt away a pretty large section by doing that. Um, it's still probably kind of slow if you're using a big brush. Um, like if I were using a big brush and using the smoothing and then I wanted to do that um, and I was cutting away see it still takes quite a while it wasn't too terrible long there but I did find another pretty interesting thing you can do um, normally we hold down the control to get a, a smooth brush so we can then drag around and it kinda does a terrain melting effect I discovered another interesting thing is that if you shrink the build brush way down, and if you go all the way down to the smallest size, it turns into a two-dimensional kind of surface-only build brush. And it's very small, so the brush is very fast. I still have the um, smooth set to 10. The smooth is much greater than the build will ever be, and so the build is essentially going to have zero effect, but you're going to be able to paint smoothing brush without holding down any modifier which is kind of cool because then you can just expand the brush out and immediately add something bring it back down and smooth away again so let me show you how this works you can just melt stuff away completely with it and it melts down pretty smooth too um, and then I can make it bigger and add something back and then smaller again and you don't have to be down it down at you know the smallest size you can be a little bigger and it will have a similar effect but you see how it even slowed down already there so if you make that brush really small it really speeds it up uh, it's a really nice way just to be able to melt down your terrain and um, get your giant block forms down into a much more organic kind of shape let me see if I can fly around this model a bit here um, right mouse looks around and so I'm using the you know moving left with the arrow keys um, and then you know rotating with the mouse to pivot around there's not a pivot camera in Geovox yet but that's something that I've requested and I know the developers are looking into it so here we go we're going to go with our small brush and we're going to see if we can just melt this area right in very nice to what we already have here and and we'll 
do it a little more at the bottom so it kind of cuts away like there's some erosion going on. And let me pull back from this a little bit so I can see it better. I won't go around to the back side now. This is just to show you guys how how this works. And so there we've um, got a large new rock form in our terrain that, you know, blends in reasonably well. So hope that's helpful for someone and um, happy geovoxing.